Look for the beauty in nature all around us and in the people around us too. Now that is good advice. Thank you Patrick McCleary for the reminder that beauty is indeed all around us and that all we have to do is to look for it. You know, one of the most important things you'll learn when you read our Rupert's Tales books is that there is more than one way to do things. In fact, there are many ways to do just about everything. No matter if you're baking cookies, painting a picture, or celebrating the turning of the wheel of the year. So I would like to share something with you that I wrote about four years ago about the eight Sabbaths we celebrate as pagans. It's called Ode to the Sabbaths. And an ode is really just a poem which celebrates someone or something. So you might say, this is a celebration of our celebrations. <laughs> okay, and here's how it goes. The wheel of the year has turned once again, bringing us together in circle with all of our friends. Eight times we gather for Sabbaths throughout the year, celebrating God and Goddess, whom we all hold dear. Yule is the first Sabbath of the new year, the longest night. Then Imbolc brings healing, inspiration, and more hours of light. Ostara means the birds and the bees and all things of spring. Beltane means love and laughter and all kinds of good things. The summer solstice or Letha is next, the longest of days, when the oak king of summer to the holly king of winter gives way. Lunasa or Lamas, no matter how it's said, this is the Sabbath when we give thanks for our bread. Of the three harvests, Mabon is number two, and this is the time we celebrate our autumn equinox too. Samhain is the last of our Sabbaths, but in no way the least, with the annual blessing of fields, farms, and beasts. Some will dance at Beltane with fairies who have sparkling wings, hunt for pretty eggs at Ostara, or braid corn dolls, the Lamas harvest brings. Samhain brings mysteries both hidden and revealed. Imbolc gives us rain and flowers, and Mavon its ripe golden fields. Of course, giving and receiving gifts at Yule is lots of fun. And so is sharing the day running around under a hot Letha sun. Gathering all together for the Sabbaths is the most important part, and celebrating our blessings with sincere and happy hearts. The wheel of the year has turned once again, bringing us together in circle with all of our friends. I hope you get to celebrate Sabbaths in Circle with all of your friends and that if you ever feel left out because so many of your friends who are not pagan are celebrating holidays that you don't celebrate, that you'll remember just how wonderful it is to celebrate nature and all that we do throughout the turning of the wheel of the year. Blessings to you.